<clears throat> so back to the shoyu bottle. It's not going to get a handle, but what it does get is a carb. Because what you do with shoyu bottles, you fill it up with shoyu, and you put a cork on it. You try to pour it, it's not going to pour. You have to have a hole in it, because it lets air draw through it, and it lets you control. I'll show you. So, grab it, squeeze it, so it gives it, you know, so you can put little marks in it to where you want to hold it. Makes it real ergonomic. So, I feel that the hole needs to be over here. And I'll cut it out of the side here, making sure not to go too far into the belly because that's where the shoyu is going to be. Make a nice little hole right in the side there. No big deal, once again, the glaze will cover up any of these little hard edges there. All right? So when it comes to this show you bottle, you're going to have a cork in it. And then you just take it when you're going to use it. You let go like that, let's show you out. And you, you put your finger on the carb, and it keeps it from coming out. And if you made the, the spout nice enough, the shoyu will almost shoot out of the top there, just because of the dynamics of this thing. And the Japanese have been making these forever. And they're in every house out there. All right, so what we're going to do now, all this stuff is set up. We're going to clean up our hands a little bit. We're going to get our manufactured sponge and we get rid of all these little finger marks and stuff on these pots.